Well, welcome to the weekly vlog, and today we're going to talk uh, about this Hoover. This Hoover was gifted to me by a friend who had always wanted one of these, but I guess now he doesn't have the space for it. Anyways, I'm happy to have it. As you know, I seem to like vintage American Hoovers. This thing is no exception, and it's of that beautiful green. And for those who don't know on the channel, this is like my favorite color that Hoover made any other machines with, so I'm happy to have it. It has not been fully restored though. It's, uh, it's in decent condition, but it definitely needs to be gone through. It's not really on the priorities of things to be gone through right now, unfortunately. So I'm just going to show it to you and we'll go over it another time maybe. So the first thing you can see right here, yeah, the button lock is missing. Um, some tape on there. The other thing is I did not get a good hose with it. I just got a rando hose with it, which is very common for Hoover canisters because these hoses split and this one's about to split. This one's in really bad condition. So what I will do is pull the pins out of this. These pins apparently just pull right out. Um, and I'll get a different hose section for that eventually. So this isn't the full electronic model, which is what's kind of cool. This is like a weird mid-level. This probably would have been the one I would have recommended back in the day of the um, Hoover Celebrity line. And the, these machines are pretty powerful. They have one big slow-moving fan in there. Now the other thing that I did, of course, immediately was I put a pneumatic bag in here so that we have much better filtration. And then it... it I'm not sure if it has the right tools, but it has, like, the tools with it. So it does have, you know, your usual tool set with it. So I'm kind of happy to have that as well. Um, I haven't even wiped it down with back polish. This is just how it came to me, and it's in excellent condition. The uh, check bag light is burnt out, which happens with these. All right, let's turn the old girl on and see how she gets there. That's a long wind down. Now it's going to need to be gone through and relubricated. But they clean fantastically well. And these machines really always have cleaned very well. They don't filter particularly well, but they clean well. So I'm happy to have this and hopefully we'll go through this and restore this as its own video in the future. Now, if you have eyes and you've been spying, if you follow the channel, the vlog, and you're a Patreon supporter, big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Uh, we refurbished this Hoover Celebrity behind it, this electronic, real deluxe model. So, happy to have this. We're going to go work on restoring this sometime, hopefully in the near future. As a lot of you know, I really like Hoover Concept 1s. They're perhaps my favorite upright. I have several. So, on eBay, I saw a listing for a Hoover Concept 1 tool set that had never been used in the box. Unfortunately, when they shipped it to me, they destroyed the box. But I thought I would at least open this up and see what they sent me. Maybe. Uh, see if it's even in, in one piece. But they basically ruined the outer box of this. I, I don't know why that was the decision that they made. Um, really a shame because I, I wanted this nice box with it. I really want to find the original box for one of these too. I think that would be really cool to have since these were shipped in one piece. Anyways, so here's what's in the box. If you're wondering what these tools look like, so they gave you a base plate that goes underneath with a wheel. I dusting upholstery combo, a crevice tool, and then just one curved wand. Oddly enough, this is curved. So you have like this double curve wand. That's really weird that they would do it like that. I have a 
little instruction manual. Nothing much about this. Uh, yeah, the instruction manual, so there's a standard and a deluxe cleaning tool set. And this is the standard. And if you look, I don't know if we can read that with the lighting. Um, but basically, the difference was an extra wand uh, and a separate dusting brush upholstery tool versus the, the combo tool and a separate floor tool. surprised about that. That's less than a Kirby. Let's see if there's any variance between the other machines. Let's see what this other one gets. Well, not very much either. So I guess uh, the Hoover Concept ones are less powerful than I always thought they were. They always seem very powerful when you use them. Um, now, I guess there's a possibility this gasket could be kind of dead, but I, I really don't think so. I think this is really cleaning off airflow and the brush roller doing its job on carpet very well. No, you're not seeing double. I have managed to finally get uh, a cover for my other white pearl um, good thanks to our friend Dr. Schwingelminer, if you're in our Discord server. Big thanks to him. Apparently his boss was throwing away a new old stock one, so I'm happy to have it. And if you weren't aware, the most interesting thing about the White Pearl is basically simultaneously we sold the older pigtail version without the electronics next to the electronics. These were sold simultaneously uh, for most of their life. Probably not in Europe, but in here in the U.S., that's how they were distributed. Um, so I'm happy to have both examples of the machine. So we have the 444 and the 434 uh, variant here. So happy to have those. Little nice kind of surprise to the Mila collection here. I don't think anything quite says 80s like gray and beige, especially on this 80s Mila, which we got from 85 to about 87 before. In 88, they went to these body styles here. So I'm happy to have my 80s big wheel finally back together. And I think it looks pretty decent considering its age. Um, it's an 86 when we took it apart. It is officially an 86. Um, and just again to show you, kind of, it's like a Kenmore. Basically the advantage you would have gotten over the Kenmore was, I think, a better set of tools and higher filtration at the time. And that was through a dual layer bag plus an air clean filter. One of those pads we all throw away now. Well, that's <laughs> that was high tech back in the day. So I'm happy to have it. The bag check on this is non adjustable, uh, unfortunately, and I can't get it quite right to our altitude. Um, I need to check. A friend of mine also has a version of this, but he has the electronic one. I need to check and see if that's to this machine or if it's to this specific machine. So, two series of machine or this specific machine. Now, I also forgot to show this Mila Turbo uh, that came with that. Um, it's not a very good turbo at this altitude. Um, this is an 87, so it's a little newer than that machine, but bought around the same time. I will refurbish it in its own video, but it's it's not very good, spoiler alert. So, I'm, I'm really just, again, it's more for show, so I'm kind of throwing this on the back burner. Let's do a pickup test with it, or just maybe some breakfast cereal, less of a test. I think for its age, it sounds really good. I need to talk about these Hoovers. Uh, I met some friends for breakfast and we decided to go thrifting afterwards. 
And I said I wasn't going to buy anything. Well, oh, I couldn't resist this Hoover 700. It was just way too cool, way too weird to say no to. And then a friend of mine bought, brought this Guardsman over. And it's kind of fuchi. We might flip it. I might keep it. Comment below what you want to see. A friend of mine also brought me this Kent to fix and flip. And it's kind of, it's real fuchi. Um, yeah, I don't really even want to touch it right now. Uh, but it's it's on the list of things to do. It's a full 14 incher. It's not a practical 12 incher. Give you an idea. Just kind of how fuchi this is. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna deal with that another time. It will be a while. Now I want to talk about the high zero. I have one of these in for testing, and I want to do more than just a dry pickup test with this. So I was thinking like ketchup, mustard, that sort of thing on the floor. I wanted uh, to hear from you what you wanted to see this thing pick up on hard floor since it is a wet pickup machine. Um, I don't know, bowl SpaghettiOs, something of that sort. Uh, so comment below. I'll be looking at the comments and hopefully uh, that will make it into the video. I look forward to hearing your suggestions on that. Well, thanks for watching the Vacuum Saved Vlog. Please like, subscribe, comment below. And right now, if you can share these videos to get the second channel going, that helps us out a whole bunch. Have a wonderful day.